Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another new crochet tutorial and this time it's a really requested one and it's for Nico from One Shot. So here's what he looks like. So we've got the little scarf and then the hair and the hat. So yeah, this isn't actually a game that I've played, but it is on my list to play and I will definitely make sure that I do play it because it looks like something that I'd um, really enjoy. But yeah, I've had multiple requests for this now and it has been on my list for a while to actually make the pattern for this. So yeah, I finally got around to doing it. Um, and I would say this is kind of like a moderate um, difficulty pattern. It's not particularly complicated, but um, potentially would be a little bit complicated for a complete beginner. But um, as always, I show you all of the most difficult parts on camera. So you may be able to follow along even if you're not that experienced in crochet. Um, other than that, there's not really anything else to say. The written pattern is available on my blog for free and that will be linked down below as always. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into what you'll be needing for this tutorial. For this tutorial, you'll be needing Aran Weight Yarn in the following colours. Pinky brown, this is going to be for the skin colour. Then you'll need a light brown, a mid brown and a dark brown. You'll be needing a light purple and a dark purple. And then you'll also be needing a yellow. The yellow is just for the eyes, by the way, so you definitely don't need like as much as I'm showing you here. But um, I'm just showing you all of my yarn in the balls that they're currently in. Um, then you'll be needing some scissors. You'll be needing your crochet hook. I've got a four millimeter crochet hook to go with my iron weight yarn. But if you're using lighter or heavier yarn, you can size up or down as required. You'll be needing a yarn needle to sew bits together. You'll probably want a stitch marker. I've just got a um, piece of yarn for that. You'll need some stuffing. You'll need a lot more than this, but this is just to demonstrate. And then you may also, in fact, you probably definitely will for this tutorial, want some pins for pinning things in place to sew them down. This is going to be particularly helpful when you're sewing the hair down, for example. Um, so, yeah, that's everything that you'll be needing for this tutorial. We're going to start off with our pinky brown colour to make the head. So to start off with, you're going to be doing six single crochets in a magic circle. So that's round one. And then for round two, you're going to increase all the way around and that'll get you up to 12 single crochets at the end of round two. Okay, so that's the end of round two and I've got 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds as it's just a mixture of single crochets and increases in each round. So round three, single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, two single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat five more times to get you to 36 single crochets at the end of the round. Round seven, single crochet all the way around. Round eight, five single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. And then rounds nine to 13, single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you uh, at the end of round 13 as in round 14 we're going to start decreasing. So I just finished round 13 and as I mentioned we're going to start doing some decreases now in round 14. So we're going to start off by doing five single crochets. And then we're going to do a decrease over the next two stitches. Just like that. I'll show you one more. So five single crochets. And then 
to decrease. So you're going to repeat that pattern of five single crochet decrease all the way around. That will get you down to 36 single crochets at the end of round 14. Just got to the end of round 14 and this is what it's looking like. Going to just talk you through the uh, remaining few um, rounds for the head until we have to start stuffing it. So for round 15, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. Round 16, four single crochet decrease. Repeat that five more times to get you down to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 17, three single crochet decrease. Repeat five more times to get you down to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round 18, two single crochet decrease. Repeat five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at that point as we then stuff the head. I got to the end of round 18 and as you can see um, I have now stuffed the head so you want to stuff quite firmly and then we're just going to do a couple more rounds in this pinky brown colour and then we're going to be changing to our mid brown colour and I'll show you how to do that when we get to that point. So the final couple of rounds in this colour are going to be round 19, single crochet decrease and repeat that five more times to get you down to 12 single crochets at the end of the round and then round 20, single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 20 and we'll We'll change to mid brown. I'm just about to do my final single crochet of round 20 and it's now time to change colour to our mid brown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the single crochet in exactly the same way as normal. So pull through my loop like this, but then instead of pulling through in my pinky brown, I'm going to get my mid brown and pull through to change colour. Okay, so that's all done. So now we can start round 21. So round 21 is going to be single crochet increase all the way around. So I'll just start that off with you. What I would normally do is crochet over both tails for a few stitches to start with. So I'm just doing my increase. And then I'm going to do another single crochet. And then I'm just going to pull on the tails a little bit just to make sure that they're... Um, in the right position and then I'm just going to cut this pinky brown tail and then I'm going to carry on crocheting around and I'm not going to crochet over the um, tails anymore so doing another increase so yeah just single crochet increase all the way around I'll meet you when you finish that just finished round 21 this is what it's looking like um just so you know what we're doing here is we're creating the body um in this uh, mid brown color um so yes yeah, so i'm going to talk you through the next few rounds so for round 22 you're going to do two single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you up to 24 single crochets at the end of the round and then rounds 23 to 30 you're going to single crochet all the way around and i'm going to meet you when you finish round 30 and we'll do round 31 together because um, we're going to do something slightly different for that i'm just going to start round 31 now so for round 31 we are just going to be single crocheting all the way around but this time we're going to be doing it in the front loops only so i'll show you um how we do that so just in this front loop only So just like that all the way around and then for round 32 you're going to single crochet all the way around but you're going to do it in both loops again. So round 31 front loops only, round 32 both loops as normal and I'll meet you at the end of round 32 as that will be the end of the body and then we'll need to um, have a think about how we're going to do the legs. I've just finished round 32 this is what it looks like now so we've got the head and the body uh, and that is going to be the end of the body so I'm just going to cut my yarn leave a very small tail here so just about that amount and then I'm going to finish off with a fake single crochet just to make this look a little bit neater at the bottom so I'm just going to pull that tail through completely flip my work skip the next stitch go into the one after that pull that yarn tail through and then go back to the final single crochet of round 32 in the closest loop to us at the moment. So this one and pull that yarn tail through here. And as you can see, that's created this fake single crochet um, that just makes it a little bit harder to tell where the round finished. Although you can obviously still see a slight dip at this point, but it's still neater than it would have been otherwise. So then you're just going to want to knot that 
um, yarn tail on the inside and you don't necessarily need to do this at this point you could do it a bit later on but I'm just going to do that now and then you can just kind of hide that inside so now we are ready to start the legs so you're going to want to get your dark brown yarn and let's do that now so for the legs we're going to be um, starting off by working in the available back loops from round 30 because if you remember in round 31 we single crocheted in the front loops only so that means there's still some unworked back loops from round 30 that we can use now so to see these you're going to want to kind of um, flip your work a little bit inside out at the bottom like this and you should be able to see these kind of raised loops here so um you can see them going all the way around like this and then it finishes at this point here and if you want to you can just count them as well to make sure that there's 24 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 so that's all of these 24 back loops that are available for us to work in now so for the first leg what we're going to do is we're going to identify the final um available back loop from round 30 and that's this one here and the reason i knew that one is because this is the one that's sort of the highest up out of all of them as you can see this loops a little bit lower down whereas this one is the highest highest one and I counted all the way around to 24 so that I know that this is the 24th loop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to count back 10 from this loop including this loop so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so it's this stitch here I'm going to put my hook in there so it's ready now I'm going to grab my dark brown yarn and what we're going to do is we're going to attach this here and then start single crocheting around so i'm just attaching like that and then we're going to work 10 single crochets in those back loops only so one two three Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that is round one for the first leg. As you can see, it looks like this at the moment. And in round two, we're going to start it on the other side here. So we're going to start to create an actual leg shape, and you'll see that in a second. So for round two, we're working 10 single crochets all the way around and you want to start off over on the other side in that first single crochet you did from round one. So this is going to be our first single crochet. So that's one and then we're going to do nine more. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So hopefully you can now see that we've got a um, circle here and we're starting to create the leg from this. So now what you're going to do is for rounds three to seven you're just going to single crochet all the way around so i'll meet you at the end of round seven completed round seven and this is what it's looking like now so we can actually cut our yarn and finish off with a fake single crochet now and the reason for that is because we're going to create a separate foot piece that we're going to like sew on to the bottom of the leg later on so this is all you need to do for now so i'm just going to do my fake single crochet method again like that and then I'm gonna knot that off inside so at this point you can now add some stuffing to the body and this first leg so I'm going to do that now and then come back and show you how to start off the second leg 
So the body and leg are now stuffed and we're going to start off um, looking at the second leg now. So where we're going to reattach our yarn is we're going to identify the final back loop that we worked into for the first leg. So that will be this one over here. And then we're going to count three after that and we're going to reattach our yarn into that loop. So I'm just going to turn my work so that it's the right way around when I reattach my yarn. So that was the final one. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to reattach our yarn into this third loop. And what that's going to do is that's going to give us a two single cro crochet gap um, between each of the legs. So they're not going to be directly next to each other. So I'm just getting my dark brown yarn now. Sorry, it's a little bit awkward. There we go. So now I'm going to just work 10 single crochets again in those back loops only. Oops, I accidentally got a bit of the stuffing in there. Let's try that again. keep doing it right if that does happen you can just use some tweezers to um tweeze out the excess stuffing at the end seven eight nine I'm not having much luck with the stuffing today. All right, let's push that in a bit and try again. There we go, that's better. 10. So that's round one complete. You should have your 10 single crochets. And like with the other leg, uh, round two is going to start on the other side so that we can create the um, closed circle. So I've got to the end of round seven and I finished off with my fake single crochet like I did on the other side. But this time I've left a slightly longer tail because we're going to be using this to sew uh, the gap closed between the two legs. So I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to this point. And then I'm just going to be sewing the legs closed. So I'm going to be sewing the dark brown parts together, not the um mid brown parts because if you do the mid brown parts you will slightly misshape the body so you're going to want to just do along um these stitches here so i'm just gonna get into a good position to start that and then i'm gonna make a start i'm gonna just do a whip stitch along Okay, you can still see a little bit of gaps, but it doesn't matter because you won't actually end up really seeing that part. I'm just also going to pull that tail out a bit more um, just so that this is a bit less tight at the bottom here. Okay, fine. So I'm just going to, now that I've done that, I'm going to take a quick look at it and make sure I'm happy with it. So as you can see, what we've done here is we've kind of... Um, uh, we left those back loops available in round 30 so that we could then create this effect of the t-shirt being layered over the legs so that's what we're doing here so i think that looks fine so i'm now just going to um stuff this leg and then we can also weave in this yarn tail but i may wait and do that after we've already done the feet so i'm just going to add some stuffing here
fine. So now um, we are ready to start making the feet. I've just made one of the feet and this is what it looks like. So we're going to start the other one now. So in your dark brown yarn for round one, you're going to start off by doing eight single crochets in a magic circle. Okay, so that's the end of round one. You should have eight single crochets all the way around. For rounds two to three, you're gonna single crochet all the way around. And then for round four, you're gonna do three single crochet increase and repeat that once more to get you to 10 single crochets at the end of the round. Then we'll just need to do round five to finish, but I'll do that one with you because there's um, a slightly different stitch that we're gonna be doing in that one. Just finish round four and we're gonna do round five together. So I'm gonna start off by doing five single crochets. Okay, and now we're going to do four double crochets and um, the reason we're doing this is because the double crochets will be bigger stitches and that's going to create the kind of bottom of the foot here um, as you can see with this one here the double crochet should be positioned at the bottom of the foot so we're going to do four of those And then we're just going to finish off with one single crochet. And that is the foot complete. So just cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And now we're going to sew these to the bottoms of the legs. So as you can see, I've sewn down one of the feet and we're going to do the other one now together. So you're going to get your yarn needle. Um, I'm going to go into this next stitch here and then I'm going to be sewing this to the bottom of the leg trying to line it up so that the double crochets are positioned on the bottom um, of the foot so like this so these are the single crochets at the top here and I'm going to just start whip stitching around That was my seventh stitch and before I do any more I'm just going to stuff the foot now. I might just add a little bit more than that. Now we can just do the final three stitches. And I might just do one final one just to neaten this up a little bit. And then you can just weave your yarn tail through to the bottom of the foot like this and then snip it. So there we have it. We've got our legs, our body and our head now. We're going to make the sleeves now in our light brown yarn. So this is one of them and I'm going to do the other one with you now. 
So we're going to be working in rounds, but to start off with, we're going to do a chain of 12 and you do want to leave a little bit of a tail at the beginning because it will just help you to um, tidy up the bottom of the sleeve when you get to the end and you'll see what I mean at the end. So we're going to do 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then we're going to be working 12 single crochets all the way around the chain. So you're going to start in this first one here and do a single crochet in there. And then you're going to do 11 more. So we're going to just go all the way around for round one, just like that. So I'll meet you when you've single crocheted all the way around the chain. So this is what round one should look like once you've completed it. So now we're just going to be working in rounds as usual. So for round two, you're going to do four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease, get you to 10 single crochets at the end of round two. Rounds three to four single crochet all the way around. Round five, three single crochet decrease, three single crochet decrease, get you down to eight single crochets. And then round six to 11 single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of round 11. Just got to the end of round 11, this is what it looks like. So to finish off, we're just going to do four slip stitches across the top. So one, two, three, four, and then just cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And now we can just quickly tidy up this bit at the bottom as well. So all I'm going to do is just turn my work like this, find a nearby loop and then pull that yarn tail through and then we can just knot it on the inside and that will make this bit look a lot more neat. Just like that and then you can just weave the yarn tail through a little bit deeper into the sleeve and then just snip it like that so now we've got our two sleeves and we can sew them to either side of the body i've just sewn down this side so i'm going to do the other one with you now so you're just going to want to position your sleeve in whatever way you think looks best and also just bear in mind how you want um, the bottom part to sit because for example if I turned it like this you can kind of see um, that the two sides are a little bit uneven whereas if I turn the sleeve like this I think it looks a lot better so I think I'm just going to uh, sew it down like this but do whatever you think is best. You can pin if you want but I'm not going to, I'm just going to hold it in place and try my best to... Um, sew along where I'm holding it. So I'm just going to do four whip stitches along the top. Then before I go any further I'm just going to check I'm still happy with that positioning. I think that's fine. So then what I'm going to do is sew down a couple of stitches at the front. Like that. Have another check. How do you think I want those stitches to sit a little bit further forward? So I'm just going to unpick that and redo it. Yep, I prefer how that looks a lot better now. I'm just going to do one final one, I think. And then we can go back to the other side and do a couple more at the back. Just 
check how that looks. Yep, I'm happy with that. So then I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through the back. And then I can snip my two tails here. Um, and actually, sorry, one other thing that you might want to do at this point. If you have a long enough tail, you can actually use these tails to make the stripes at the front of the top. But I think I'm going to cut a separate um, yarn length for that. But if you had longer tails left here, then um, you might just want to leave them at this point. And um, I'll show you what I mean in one second. I've cut another length of light brown yarn, as you can see here. And I'm going to do a couple of stripes on the front of the top. So I'm just weaving that through to about here, I think. And we can tidy that up at the back later. I'm just going to go to this point here and then go back and do maybe one or two more. think that will probably do and then I'm going to do the um, same thing underneath so I'm just going to go to the back come out about here I think and then do a couple of lines like that and then you can do a little bit of um moving your yarn tail through to a different place just to keep it a bit more secure before you cut it so i'll do that and then i'll um do the same thing with this tail So now we're ready to move on to making the hair. So you're going to need your dark purple yarn for this. So for the hair, we're using our dark purple yarn and this is going to be worked by effectively. We're going to do a chain of 38 to start with. So imagine this is the chain. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make further chains and we're going to do the chain and then sort of single crochet up the chain like this and then move one along on the original chain, go back up just like this and this will create um, some hair strands coming down from this original chain and then what we're going to do is kind of position the chain um, around the head and then sew it down and that will create the hair. There's obviously going to be a gap at the top but that doesn't matter because we're going to hide that with the hat that we're making next. So yeah, I just thought I'd try and explain it to you first before we start because when you're doing this you might get a bit confused about what exactly we're trying to create here. So it's basically just we're trying to create a strip of hair um, and the, the hair will be different lengths hence why there's going to be different amounts of chains that you're going to have to be doing. But we'll We'll get into that um, when we get started with this. So we're going to start off by chaining 38. Just like this, uh, I won't bore you showing you uh, me doing all 38, so I'll meet you when you've got a chain of 38. Okay, so I've got my chain of 38. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain from hook. You can do it into this front loop if you want to, but I'm going to use the back loops here. I don't know how well you can see that because this is a dark colour, but there should be a back loop that you can go into for each chain. So that's what I'm going to choose to do. So I've just slip stitched into that. Now I'm going to chain 18. This is the first hair strand that we're making now. OK, 
okay and then what we're going to do along this chain so again we're going to slip stitch into the second chain from hook so again you could slip stitch into this front loop but i'm going to slip stitch into the back loop And then I'm going to work 16 single crochets up this chain. I'll meet you when I've done 16. Okay, so once you've done your 16 single crochets, you're then going to find the next um, chain from the, your original chain 38 and you're going to slip stitch into that. And so this is our first hair strand, but for some reason when you do the first hair strand, it comes out quite straight, but the other hair strands from this point onwards will look a little bit curly. And for that reason, in the next hair strand, we're going to actually um, do a longer chain than the one we did here, but it'll end up looking a similar length to this. And again, you'll kind of see what I mean a bit later on. So now that we've slip stitched back into the original chain 38, we're ready to make the second hair strand. So this time we're going to chain 23. And then we're going to do exactly the same as we did before, slip stitch into the second chain from hook. And then we're going to work 21 single crochets up the chain. So I'll meet you when you've done your 21. I've done my 21 single crochets, now I'm going to slip stitch again into the next chain on the original chain 38. And as you can see, hopefully you can see what I mean, this first strand is pretty straight, whereas this one starts to get a bit curly. So that's why we did a little bit extra on the second strand. And we're going to continue doing that for the next few strands, just to make sure that there's consistency in the sort of length um, or the appearance of the length of these two hair strands. Because we're starting from the back of the head and kind of working our way around to the front and then working our way to the back again. So this part is going to be positioned at the back. Okay, so now that we've done our first strand with a chain of 23, we're going to repeat what we just did three more times so that we should have five strands in total when you finished. So just to remind you, chain 23, slip stitch into your second chain from hook, work 21 single crochets down the chain and then slip stitch into the next chain on your original chain 38. So I'll meet you when you've done that. So I've just finished my fifth strand of hair and hopefully you're seeing what I was trying to explain in the beginning. So we're working along this original chain 38 and we're going to make all of these strands of hair to go along it. So we've still got quite a way to go. But yeah, hopefully now you sort of get the idea and it'll be a lot quicker um, doing the next few strands. So for the next three strands, we're going to chain 21 then slip stitch into the second chain from hook and then work 19 single crochets down the strand. So three strands of chain 21. I'll meet you when you finish that. As you can hopefully see, I've now got eight strands in total. So now for the next three strands, we're going to chain 18, slip stitch into the second chain from hook and work 16 single crochets down the chain. And then obviously slip stitch back into the original chain 38 and repeat that uh, twice more. So yep, chain 18 for the next three strands. I've now got 11 strands in total, for, so for strands 12 to 13, you're going to chain 15, slip stitch in second chain from hook and work 13 single crochets down the chain and then slip stitch back into uh, the original chain, so I'll meet you when you've done that. It's coming along nicely now, so for strands 14 to 15, you're going to do chain 11, slip stitch into the second chain from hook and then work 9 single crochets down the chain and slip stitch into the original chain. So uh, yeah, I'll meet you when you've done that. 
For strand 16 to 17, you're going to chain 8, slip stitch into the second chain from hook, and then do 6 single crochets down the chain, and then slip stitch into the original chain. For strands 18 to 20, you're going to chain 5, slip stitch into the second chain from hook, work 3 single crochets down the chain, and then slip stitch into the original chain of 38. Okay, so you should have 20 strands now um, and we're over halfway through with this so I'm just going to talk you through the remaining strands because it's basically just um, exactly what we did up to this point but reversed back up the chain so for strands 21 to 22 you're going to do chain 8 23 to 24 chain 11 25 to 26 chain 15 27 to 29 chain 18 30 to 32 chain 21 and then 33 to 36 chain 23 so i'll meet you when you've completed your final strand i finished crocheting all my strands this is what it looks like so you're just going to want to cut a very long tail of yarn ready for sewing and we'll move on to that next the next step is to pin the hair piece down between round six and seven of the head. As you can see here, I've used multiple pins to keep it in place. And you need to make sure that the shorter strands are at the front of the head. So that will be strands 18 to 20 at the front here. Then you'll need your yarn needle and we're going to start sewing this down. To sew this down, I'm just going to do a whip stitch all the way around. So I've got my yarn needle here. I'm just going to be going into one of the loops of the head then into purple loops and then brown loop purple and then brown you don't need to be the most neat with how you sew this down because the hat's gonna um, cover this part but I'm just gonna do that all the way around until I get back to where I started I've sewn the hair all the way around now, so this is what it looks like. It's up to you. You could sew down a little bit more if you want the pieces to be flat to the head instead of um, sort of flying all over the place like mine are. But I kind of like how it looks like this, so I'm just going to leave it there. Um, then I'm just going to weave the yarn tail through to the top of the head. And then cut that. And that's that. We're going to start making the hat now in our mid brown yarn. So for rounds one to five, you're just going to do exactly the same as what you did for the head. And I'll flash that up on the screen now so that you have that if you've forgotten. Then round six to eight, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. You should have 30 single crochets um, when you've done round six to eight. And I'll meet you when you're ready to start round nine as we're doing something slightly different. I'm ready to start round nine now so for round nine we're going to be working in the front loops only and we're going to be doing two single crochet increase and we're going to be repeating that all the way around so I'll show you a few to start with so I'm going to do two single crochets in the front loops only and then an increase as well in the front loops only I'll just do another one two single crochet And then an increase. So yeah, just repeat that all the way around and then I will meet you when you finish that. I finished round nine. This is what it looks like now. And we've got 40 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds because it's just a mixture of single crochet rounds and a few increase rounds. So for round 10, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. That's 40 single crochets. Round 11, three single crochet increase and repeat that pattern all the way around to get you up to 50 single crochets. Round 12, single crochet all the way around. Round 13, four single crochet increase and repeat that pattern all the way around to get you up to 60 single crochets. And then round 14, single crochet all the way around. And all of these rounds will be worked in both loops as normal. So we're not doing any more front loop only crocheting. I'll meet you at the end of round 14 as we'll then uh, finish off and then we'll need to sew the hat to the head. I finished round 14 and this is what the hat looks like. So now I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving a very long tail for sewing. 
I always tend to leave way more than I actually need, but um, I just like to be on the safe side. And then I am going to finish this off with a fake single crochet just for additional neatness. So I'll show you that, although I think I've already shown you that a few times in this video. Okay, and that is the hat completed. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to sew this to the head. You're going to want to weave your yarn tail through to uh, those available back loops that you can see sticking out here because that's the part where we're going to actually sew down. So if you just slowly weave your way through to that point. Okay, so I've now gone into one of those available loops and I'm ready to start sewing this down. I would recommend that you position uh, this part of the hat at the back of the head because this is going to be your uh, messiest part as this is where we finished off round 14. So I've got the head here. I'm just going to place the hat on the head above the hair. And sorry, I'm going to try not to hit my camera. And then I'm going to just be whip stitching all the way around just above where we whip stitched the hair. So just like this. And I'm going to go all the way around like this. So yeah, I think you get the idea, just going to whip stitch all the way around. But before I get quite all the way around, I am going to stop and add some stuffing into the, the hat. So I'll meet you when I get to that point and show you uh, the stuffing that I add. I nearly finished sewing all the way around and I've added some stuffing, as you can see. So you want to just add kind of a moderate amount of stuffing. Don't overdo it because otherwise the hat might become a bit of a funny looking shape. So just enough that um, this part of the hat does stand up properly. So now I'm just going to finish whip stitching this bit down and I'll meet you when I've done that. I finished whip stitching all the way around and obviously it looks a bit funny now because it's um, flipped upwards the hat. But if you flip it down like this and you just um, push your stuffing around a little bit then hopefully it should sit nicely on top of the head like this. So now all I need to do is just weave that yarn tail through into the hat and then I will cut that. Okay, so that's that finished. The next thing that we're going to move on to is we need to make a couple of ears that will go on top of the hat with our pinky brown yarn. So let's do that now. So the ear will look something like this. You're going to need to make two of these and I'm just going to talk you through the rounds because it's very simple. So round one, four single crochets in a magic circle. Round two, increase all the way around to get you up to eight single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, single crochet increase and repeat that pattern three more times to get you up to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round four, single crochet all the way around and then just cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. So I'll meet you when you've got two of these ears in your pinky brown colour. I've gone ahead and sewn down one of the ears to the hat so I'm just going to do the other one with you now so you're going to want to sew those to either side of the hat and you're just going to whip stitch all the way around you can use um, some pins if you want to keep it in place but I'm going to choose not to do that so I'm just going to start this off now So yeah, I'm going to whip stitch most of the way around and then I'm going to add some stuffing and I'll show you at that point. I've nearly finished sewing that all the way around and I've just added some stuffing as you can see. So I'll just do the last couple of stitches with you now. OK, 
Okay, now I'm just going to weave the yarn tail through the ear and cut that. So this is what Nico is looking like now. We're really nearly getting to the end of this. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, add the eyes. So you're going to need your yellow yarn for this. And you'll also need a little bit of, um, I think, the mid-brown yarn for um, the eye details. Or is it? Sorry, I'm just double checking if it is. Yeah, it is the mid-brown yarn. So I'll meet you when you've got your colours ready. So this is what the eyes look like. I'm going to do the second one with you now. So with your yellow yarn, you're going to start off by doing six single crochets in a magic circle. And then for round two, you're going to do single crochet, two increase, single crochet, two increase. And that is it. So I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving the tail for sewing. And then I'm going to finish off with a fake single crochet for additional neatness. And then I'm going to cut this tail at the back so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so when you've got your two eyes, come back and we'll sew them to the head together. I've sewn down one of the eyes, I'm going to do the other one with you now. So I have used some pins to just pin this in place. You want them to kind of be in the middle of the um, face, just below where the hair sits. And this time instead of doing a um, whip stitch, I'm going to be doing a running stitch. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going into a pinky brown loop, then into another pinky brown loop and back up through the yellow loops. And then I'm going to go yellow to pinky brown. Then pinky brown to yellow again. I'm just going to repeat that all the way around. I finished sewing the eye all the way around, so I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through the eye and then I'll cut that. So now you're going to want to get a length of your mid brown yarn. And we're going to be adding the detail to the eyes. We're just going to add a couple of lines for the eyes now. like that and then if you want to you can kind of weave your yarn tail through a little bit to try and keep it a little bit more secure And yeah, I'll do the same thing with the other one in a minute. 
So now what we need to do is make the scarf. So if you grab your light purple yarn, then we can get on with that. For the scarf with your light purple yarn, we're going to start off by chaining 81. We're going to be working in rows for this. So I won't bore you with watching me do that, so I'll meet you when you've got 81. Once you've got your chain of 81, you're just going to be single crocheting across the chain. So that'll be 80 single crochets as we're starting from the second chain from hook. You can go into these front loops if you want, but I'm going to be working in the back loops. And that's just because I prefer how that looks. So I'm just going to work 80 single crochets along the chain. And I'll meet you when you finish that. I've just done my 80 single crochets and that completes row one. So for rows two and three, what we're going to do is chain one, turn, and we're going to just work 80 single crochets across, but we are going to be working those in the back loops only. So like this. And that is for both rows two and three in the back loops only. So I'll meet you when you get to the end of row three. I've just completed row three and this is what it looks like so I'm just going to cut my yarn now and I'm going to try and uh, disguise this little tail as um, part of the fringing of the scarf but I'm just going to do a little knot to keep it a little bit more secure. So yeah now what we're going to do is we're going to cut some lengths of yarn and we're going to add some fringing. So you want to cut six lengths out and you want to make them so that whatever half the length is, is however long you want your fringing to be. Um, so that can be however long you want it to be. So yeah if you cut six lengths out of your light purple yarn I'll show you how to do the fringing. Okay, so I've got my six lengths of yarn, they're equal for the most part, and I'll just show you one of the fringing um, that I'm going to do. So you just want to put your hook inside the scar, pull the yarn tail through, and then through this loop that you've made, you just want to pull those tails and try and get them to be roughly equal when you pull and then just leave it like that and that is the fringing so you're going to want to do three on either side and I'll meet you when you've done that and then we can um, just tie the scarf around Nico's neck and then it'll be finished. This is what my completed scarf looks like with the fringing now so just what going to um, tie this around the neck like this so I'm going to try and make sure that I've got roughly the same amount of um, scarf on either side and then at the back I'm just gonna do a little knot like this and then I'm just going to try and position those scarf ends so that you can kind of see them from the front. So that is the completed Nico. I'll show you a better view of this and that'll be it. So this is what the finished Nico looks like. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.